Right, Ancient Collection is up last. We'll also go through the Agents and all that good stuff, because there's plenty that came with this operation. So let's just kick it off. Let's not waste any more time. Same as what I said last time around. I won't take the, the greys and the blues too seriously. It's when we start to get to the purples, the pinks, and the reds that I'll um, be looking a little bit closer and being a bit more harsh. So it's P90. It looks pretty good in terms of the detail on it. Uh, color scheme's okay, but it's a P90, so this is a skip. I almost don't want to even rate that. Lush Ruins. I quite like this skin, you know? I do quite like it. I'm going to be honest. I think for it being grey, this would be a very good, basic, uh, low-tier skin to pick up for the SG. Don't think it's going to blow me away, but honestly, for me, like this is a great grey skin. Nova, Army Sheen, so they've gone for another one. Uh, there's another Army Sheen, and I think the Control Collection. Um, it's a Nova. Does anyone really care? It's whatever, isn't it? Jungle Dashed. I think we had another one of these in the Control Collection. For a Scout, actually doesn't look too bad. I quite like it. I quite like the Scuffed look. For some reason, Scuffed skins look really good on the Scout to me. This is alright. This is a, another spot-on grey tier skin. I can't really fault this at all. I think it's uh, pretty good. It's basic, but I like it. Knight. Knight skins can be really good. There's actually two really good skins here for the R8. In the last collection we looked at, and now this one. This is very clean and it looks really good to me. But it's an R8, so does it even matter? Maybe one day if the R8 starts to get more play, if if uh, Valve change it and make it viable, then this would be a great skin for it. But right now, just just a feels bad, isn't it? Ooh, it's like almost it's almost like green laminate skin. You know what? I think this is a banging skin for blue. I think this is actually a very, very good skin. If you have a green inventory and you use an MP7, I could see this being your skin of choice. I think it's pretty damn good. Am I going to use it? Nope. But I think it's actually pretty nice. And do you know what I'd love? If this, if this idea was put on an AK. Silver. It reminds me a little bit of I think there's a a metal skin for the five seven, and it's basically like a silver version of the five seven. And although I think it looks pretty nice, at the same time I'm just thinking it looks so similar to the original, and so similar to other skins of the the CZ that it. I just don't understand why it's in the game. It, it it goes back to what I said before about these reused, regurgitated ideas on skins and, like, no creativity. There's a skin in the game called the Imprint, which looks very similar to this. It's just imprinted. Same color, same kind of idea to it, really. Um, why would I pick this up over that? It looks super clean, you know? It look, it'll look better in game than it does here, by the way, for sure. But what's what's the point, like... There's way better CZ skins in the game than this. Blast from the past. It's got like these mosaics and stuff. It's kind of a cool idea. Don't really like the, the color scheme. And I think that purple skin from one of the other collections was way better than this. Looks like clean, but I, I wouldn't use this at all. Carved Jade. I like the idea of it. It's like an emerald. Uh, there's a CZ Emerald, which looks really good. The issue is it's on an Org. You've already got Missing Paint here, which is definitely a red flag for these kind of skins. I think these skins absolutely get butchered if you have any Missing Paint at all. They, it just kills the look of it completely. And because only part of the gun is covered up, it just doesn't really fit for me. It's like you've got this Emerald 
on on certain aspects of the gun and then just suddenly there's a whole bunch of it that has nothing it looked pretty cool if you had maybe the the trims and highlights that were also green on the scope if this part was green if maybe part of the barrel was green it would make a bit more sense but to me this feels like it's wasted on the org feels like it's completely wasted on the org Dusk Ruins. Very low resolution on all the patterns on it, which may be intentional. I quite like the colors, sort of, but not really the pattern on it. Maybe this would work if you had a red inventory, but I think there's better options for the Galil, so this would be a pass. But I can see like there's effort been put into it. Ooh, Dark Water. It's been a while since I've seen a new Dark Water skin. There's a an USP and an M4 Dark Water, and they are very, very old skins. That I want to say it's from the first or second case in, in the game ever, so they're like seven years old or some shit. This is the first Dark Water skin, but it has the same issues. Dark Waters always look scuffed. There's always missing paint on them. And because of the way they work with certain parts of the reflection showing when you're at certain stages and then certain parts not, it always looks weird to me in game. It's always this like very, very weird, um, I wasn't going to say animation, but this weird effect that it has. I think on paper they could be great skins, but unfortunately in practice they always look pretty off to me. But I'll, I'll give it the credit it's due. I like that there's a new Dark Water skin out there, and I think some people will really like this, and it'll work with their USP and M4A1S, and I think it's a good idea to put another CT weapon with those, so people can use the three of them together. I think that's a solid idea. It's all right. Oh yeah, Scout as well, true. Whoops. XM, Ancient Law. So now we're getting to the purples, and this is where I expect the quality of the skins to step up, and this hasn't stepped up. It's an XM, whatever, but the skin itself is super basic, don't like the color scheme, don't like the idea of it, don't like the aesthetic, no. Fuck no. Mac 10 Gold Brick. I mean, it's purple, so... The things that work for this skin is it's very basic, but in a good way, right? And that probably will look really good in-game if the, if the sun hits it right. It'll probably look really, really solid. One of the downsides is, is maybe too plain. Like, it's only the top part of the gun that's gold. If they'd have made the handle gold as well, and the magazine, or maybe just the handle... Then I could be more interested, but it's just like, it, it It feels like there's a lack of creativity with this skin. Which some people will absolutely love and some people will hate. But if I compare this to the Mac 10, what was it called? Hot Snake or some shit? Um, that skin obviously blows this one out the water, albeit that's a pink and this is a purple, so that's going to be more expensive. I just don't see why you'd pick this skin up over the, the myriad of better Mac 10 skins. But I don't hate the skin at all. I quite like it. I'm kind of torn on it. I think... I think I would need to see it in-game. You have a USP at purple. You have so many opportunities here to, to pull off a banging skin, right? An absolute banger. And this is the one we get. What the fuck? It's the exact same pattern. Like, it's just... No. Just, just no. Run and hide. This is a very high quality skin. And I think it'll look great in game. 
but it's a P90. So <laughs> automatically, that's a red flag. It's a bit dull, but I could see people that, that like their tiger skins and are into the kind of color scheme really being into this skin. But because it's a P90, I'm just never going to use it. And so I feel like it's a wasted a wasted slot that could have been put on a better gun. Like, I always say the same shit when it comes to this. If you put that on an M4, an AK, a Galil, a FAMAS maybe, like a gun that's actually going to get used semi-regularly, it would actually be way more impressive. But it just... I don't know. Right, we got an AK and an M4A1S to finish off. So far, this collection has been disappointing. This has probably been the worst one to date. So, let's see if the AK and the M4 can can somehow save it. AK... Panther... Panther or Onka? There's a lot going on with this skin, and the instant thing I think of is I've seen this skin pretty much before. There's already an AK skin with a similar p color pattern to this with a panther or jaguar or something in the middle of the skin. And I can't... What, what is the actual skin called? Is it just jaguar? It, th there's already a skin in the game that's basically this. Yeah. It's like a jaguar with like a red eye. So... This is almost identical to that, actually. Which really... Leaves a sour taste in, in my mouth. This... It almost feels like this is intentionally almost identical. You have the exact same feet positions. The exact same position in the middle of the gun. So, everything that I said multiple times today about how many skins are just regurgitated with no creativity, nothing really new in them. And then this is in, which is, it's not even trying to pretend that it's it's a, a copy or not. The differences are you have the engravings on the wood, which looks pretty nice, and the color scheme is different. That Jaguar is much darker colored. It's like uh, dark green, I think, and black. But this, like, could you not have come up with something different? That's kind of skewed my opinion. If there wasn't a Jaguar skin already in the game, then I'd probably rate this pretty highly because of how unique it would have been. But because there's already a Jaguar, fuck this. Like, fuck this forever. Like, why? Um, Amy Sterius, thank you, mate. Appreciate that. So... What a disappointment, right? This, a this A1S is going to have to be something truly special. Truly special. Welcome to the jungle. This is the best skin in any of the cases or collection by far. And even though I wouldn't use it, I, I wouldn't use it. I'm not a huge fan of the, the color scheme. This is an amazing skin. The artwork's great. The aesthetic of it is amazing. It's so detailed. There's a lot going on with this skin, and I think it's actually fucking amazing. Plus, this is, I, I don't see any missing paint at all. So this is a super clean looking A1S. So there's missing paint on the end, but you're never going to see that anyway. So whatever. Um, it, this is a great skin. This is a this is a phenomenal skin. The downsides of it are it's red. So again, similar. You're going to be paying a lot of money for this skin, and there's no stat track option. So if you do want to get stat track on this, unlock O, not going to happen, unless Valve eventually releases something where you can add stat tracks to to guns that are collections. Um, it's, it's not going to have any stat track on there. 
But in terms of his skin, just objectively speaking, it's really, really high quality. Very, very good skin. Very impressed with that. Does it do enough to save the case overall or save the collection overall? No. Um, this is by far the weakest, I would say, out of the bunch of them. There's too much rehashed stuff. Uh, the AK is a massive disappointment because of the fact it's basically just a carbon copy of the Jaguar. Like, if I... I'll, I'm actually going to show you this, right? Just to prove the point. So, this is the Panther. The Panther Onka. Okay? Let me open up the, uh, the marketplace real quick. And get AK Jaguar for you. So, this is the, the Panther Orca. Orca? No, Onka. This is the Jaguar. Now, different color schemes. There's an engraving on here and on here. Okay. The exact same position of the cat. Remember I said foot here, foot there. A higher quality resolution on the cat, sure. And it's like orange and white and shit. It's the exact same idea, though. It's the exact same idea on, on, on a skin. And I'd argue this is a better skin. This is where the simplicity is better. Yeah, this is a sticker, so just ignore that. But this, this skin is better. So you had a chance at a new AK skin to get in the game, to be different, unique, and give them a chance. And instead, you just basically use a regurgitated, rehashed version of the same fucking skin. It's unreal. This is why I'm triggered. So that last collection is the weakest in order, I would say. Control's the best, Havoc's second best, Case is third. Although well, I haven't seen the new glove skin, so that should be mentioned. And then the ancient skin is in dead last position by a long margin. Now, I'm not going to bother with the, the skill group um, and graffitis and stuff. I, I don't care about any of this stuff. So I'm not going to bother with that. I will do another video now and record this straight afterwards on the new agents. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. It'll be uploaded probably on the same day. We'll be going into the agents right now.